Hello students, welcome to your science class. We are learning chapter 13, Fun with Magnets of your NCERT science textbook. We have almost reached end of this chapter. Recently, we have learnt many activities, many facts and properties and also applications of magnets. Today, let us see what we are going to learn in this chapter, Fun with Magnets. Before we begin today's class, let's once again have a quick view of the key concepts of this chapter. Introduction. In introduction, we learned various uses and purposes of magnets. How were magnets discovered? We have learned an interesting story behind the discovery of magnets, magnetic and non-magnetic materials. We learned how to differentiate magnetic materials from non-magnetic materials according to their property with, re with respect to a magnet. Poles of a magnet. We learned that the magnet has north pole and south pole finding directions we learned about a compass and how magnets play a key role in finding directions while traveling in the previous class we learned an activity on how to make our own magnet so now you know a compass is a device that is used to find directions which was developed on a peculiar property of a magnet and that property is when a magnet comes to rest after some movement it ends the magnet ends always face the north south direction only we learned two activities in the previous class where you can make your own magnet using a bar magnet and we can make our own compass also using a magnetized needle. Today another concept we are going to learn in this chapter is attraction and repulsion between magnets. Magnets not only attract other iron objects but also attract each other and also ripple or oppose each other. How and why? That we are going to learn now. The fact we are going to learn is like poles ripple and unlike poles attract or opposite poles attract and same poles ripple. Let us learn this concept by understanding an activity. Many of you might have played with a small toy car, right? Remember? Or you may have your younger siblings playing with it with them. Take such two small toy cars and label them as car A and car B. Next, take a small bar magnet of the car length and place it on the top of the car and tie it with any rubber band to be fixed properly. You can see car A and car B in the images. Similarly, you should try this experiment or activity. The positions of the bar magnets to be placed are as follows. In, ca in car A, place the magnet in such a way that the south pole of the magnet faces the front side of the car. And in car B, place the and on the on car B, place the magnet in such a way that the north pole of the magnet faces the front side of the car. So now bring both the two cars to a closer position to one another and observe their movement. 
what do you think will happen when a south pole of one magnet and a north pole of another magnet are made to face each other will there be any magnetic effect seen do the cars get attracted to each other and collide or do the cars move away from each other from their place Now let's try different positions of cars facing each other. Like try to place car A back side facing where the car A back sides or the rear view faces the front side of car B. That means north pole of the bar magnet of car A facing the north pole of the bar magnet of car B as you can see in the image. Will it show the same reaction like the one we have noticed in the before positions of the cars? Let us even note this observations also if you try the experiment or the activity. Now Try different positions of car that is car A behind car B that means south pole of car B facing south pole of car A. What will be the magnetic effect in this case? Now again placing the cars in different positions like both cars facing their back views or the rear views to each other that means north pole of car A facing the south pole of car B magnet. What do you think will be the magnetic effect in this case? Record your observations as in the table shown here in your notebook. If you see here a table with two columns are taken where in the first column the position of the cars is taken and in the second column the observations are noted that how do the cars move or like that move towards each other or away from each other or they do not move at all. So the first position is front of car A facing the front of car B. Let us see what will be the observation. If you remember the bar magnet, usually the north pole is marked in red and south pole in blue. So here south pole is facing north pole. That means they attract each other. So the cars come closer and they collide each other. The second observation is rear view of car A facing the front view of car B. Let us find what observation we have we will be seeing in that case. Here north pole is facing north pole. If you see the uh, images properly, the north pole of car A is facing the north pole of car B. So they repel each other. So both the cars move away from each other. The third observation we have to notice that if car A is placed behind car B, what will be the observation of that cars? Let us look known. It now if you see the images here the car A is placed behind car B so in this case the south pole of the south pole is facing the south pole of both the cars they are like the they are the like poles means they repel each other so here also the cars move away from each other The last observation we will be seeing is about if the rear view of car B is facing the rear view of car A. Then what will be the observation 
that we see in the movement of the cars. Let us find out. Here, like we have seen in the first position of cars, the north pole is facing the south pole. Means they are the opposite poles which attract each other. So the cars collide each other, come nearer and co collide each other. So similarly, try to do this experiment and record your observations and compare your results. In this way, you will find this fun with magnets chapter very interesting and you will understand how the light poles usually repel each other and the opposite poles of a magnet attract each other. We will continue this class, this chapter in the next class. Thank you.